The morning of Thursday, December 6, 2018, was normal for the operators of the Bob Hope Airport, located in Los Angeles, California. But around 9 in the morning something went wrong, a Boeing 737, a metallic Titan more than 33 meters long, ran off the runway at high speed. Inside, 117 people held hands tightly to contain their screams of fear. The man in charge, an experienced 56-year-old pilot, was unable to make contact on the ideal landing zone, the tailwind was tricky that morning. This seems like the account of a horrendous tragedy that claimed the lives of a hundred people, but the gigantic plane weighing thousands of tons managed to make a safe landing, somewhat bumpy and turbulent, but without fatalities or considerable structural damage. How was it possible? Thanks to EMAS, an incredible arrest system that has been saving lives at airports in the United States for more than 20 years, and that solves a historical dilemma among large ships. Today we want to tell you about the various factors that come into play when it comes to preventing an accident, and how EMAS revolutionized aviation safety with a very simple concept, a runway that can be destroyed into a thousand pieces. Events like the one we narrated in the introduction not only occurred due to human errors, the weather and mechanical problems are a determining factor in track outings. That's why pilots receive extensive training in landing safety, including emergency management and landing strategies for all types of hazardous weather. That preparation is absolutely necessary, but not even all the practice in the world can avoid the rain and the risk that it implies, hydroplaning. Hydroplaning is the chaotic situation that a vehicle goes through on the road at a certain speed on a surface covered with water, leading to a loss of traction and control. If this occurs on all the wheels, the vehicle effectively becomes an uncontrollable mass that is highly dangerous for the passengers and for people in the area. When water accumulates on the runway surface, the risk of hydroplaning increases exponentially. This is why some runways have special drainage systems that prevent the formation of puddles, in addition to improving the friction between the landing gear wheels and the surface. But it is not only a matter of keeping the surface dry, the track must also offer some resistance to slipping, and this is achieved by using special materials. The control of this quality is carried out by a special team of the United States Air Force, the APE, or Airfield Pavement Evaluation. Yes, a team entirely dedicated to diagnosing the state of the pavement. As funny as it sounds, the team has some really cool tools, like a machine that determines the texture qualities of the track, from this you can gauge how much slip resistance it can offer. The team has a hose that constantly wets the track, emulating the worst possible conditions in different parts of the course. Over time, the constant friction of air traffic can reduce the texture of the runway to nearly smooth, much like the wheels on a car after years of use on the road. The smoother the surface, the longer it will take for the water to drain. That's why airports in the United States periodically use a skidabrader, a piece of machinery that textures the runway surface, making it rougher and more prone to friction and drainage. Another essential tool for maintaining safety is the hydrotimer which measures the amount of time it takes for a liquid to evaporate or drain. But even using all of these tools and maintaining constant control, nothing can ensure that a gigantic plane won't slide off the runway. A plan B is necessary for when precaution is not enough, the solution is more destructive and strange than you can imagine. The length and width of a runway is essential when it comes to avoiding airplane overrunning the runway. In the 1960s, the introduction of large jet aircraft such as the Boeing 707 required modifications to airport facilities around the world. It was necessary to widen the tracks, but it was not as simple as expected. There was great reluctance on the part of the airline industry, since many of the most important airports in the North American circuit were close to urban areas or bodies of water, and it was logistically impossible to make their runways longer. The problem persisted for several years, until in the 1990s the Federal Aviation Administration came up with an ingenious method to make all aircraft stop within 1,000 feet in the event of a loss of track. The response is known as EMAS, which stands for Engineered Materials Arresting System. 
basically a bed of special materials that is placed at the end of the runways to prevent the plane from moving forward. Emma's consists of lightweight materials that collapse under the weight of an aircraft, allowing it to penetrate without major structural damage, causing the aircraft to stop in a few seconds due to contact between the collapsed surface and the landing gear. It's like running straight onto a fresh concrete sidewalk. But it is not as simple as building a collapsible surface, it must also be strong enough to stop the momentum of a ship weighing tens of tons traveling at a speed of 130 kilometers per hour. The main component of the EMAS is a kind of easily broken rocks, usually made from expanded polystyrene or expanded polypropylene, designed to compress and absorb an enormous amount of energy. To install this security measure, prefabricated blocks are usually used that are accommodated in the last section of the track, adding a few extra meters of travel. In the case of the largest and most complex installations, the production of the material is usually done on site, dividing the area into segments that are then filled with these special rocks, hundreds of thousands of them. The surface level is then settled and leveled to a solid body of special rocks. The process ends with a layer of concrete and a protective layer that prevents the wear and tear of exposure to the elements, allowing this safety bed to have a long useful life, at least until a plane overruns the runway and must crash safely in the EMAS. It is estimated that an installation can last 20 years, and requires minimal maintenance. Minor damage can be patched without the need for a complete reinstallation, although in the case of more severe impacts it is advisable to reinstall the entire safety bed. The EMAS has proven to be an excellent solution for the most frequent accidents in world aviation. In October 2016, a Boeing 737 carrying 37 people, including then-Vice President candidate Mike Pence, overran the runway on landing at LaGuardia Airport. Thanks to the EMAS, the aircraft came to a stop after a few seconds, with no casualties or severe damage to the 737's airframe. So far, the system has been installed in more than 100 airports around the United States, and until 2022, it stopped 18 planes that ran off the runway, preventing the situation from escalating to tragedy. After decades of research and development, the solution to a fundamental airport problem lay in small synthetic rocks and a portion of the runway destined to be destroyed for passenger safety. This is how we come to the end of this video, if you want to continue learning about this type of aerial curiosities, we invite you to subscribe and activate channel notifications. For the moment, we say goodbye until the next installment of Military Aviation.